Hi, this is Tara Reed, and welcome to my studio in Portland, Oregon. I am so glad you're here. I'm going to introduce you to my upcoming fabric line with Riley Blake Designs called Bee's Life, if you didn't guess that from the big beehive behind me. Anyway, this line is coming out in October 2020, and I am really excited to give you a sneak peek of it. So first, let me share the prints with you. We have, of course, the honeycomb. Can't have a good bee collection without a good honeycomb. Black, honey, and white are basic colors for each of the prints in this collection. Next, have to have a good bee toss. These bees were hand painted in watercolors and then scanned into the computer. And I don't know if you can tell, there are some that are fully colored bees and then I also did some outlines so that there's a little bit of visual interest in this print. Next, we have, gotta have their houses, right? The beehives. And this one is my favorite. This one has lots of like honey labels and bees and beehives and some French writing. Everything's better with a little French writing, right? Um, and again, in the black, the honey and the white. And then finally, we have a tonal with that same print. So instead of everything being all colorful, it's still the labels and the French and the honey, um, the honeycombs, but in more of a tonal so that you have areas where you have higher contrast and then you can give your eye a little bit of break if you're gonna be using these in bags and quilts and all your different projects. Now I wanna show you the panel. So the panel is a section basically from this corner where the bees are and the black words and everything in the middle. So it's super inspirational, you know, and super punny. Um, be leave, be helpful, be beautiful, be sweet, be happy. Um, what else? Be the best you can be. And every time I use the word be, we did it with two E's because of course it's beehives, got to do it. Then it has the different borders. I, I made it up. That's going to be the free project from Riley Blake. So you can see how that's going to look and it'll have all the instructions for what fabric and how much and how to put it all together. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. Then I wanna share a few more projects that I have already started that I will be sharing on my blog as the fabric comes out. It is due to ship to stores in October, 2020. And there will be more, but let me share a couple with you. Since face masks are the new fashion and probably will be into the fall, these are great. Cover your face, stay safe. And you can do them in any of the fabrics. They look beautiful. And then I always do them a different print on each side so people know which side they've had against their face. Plus then they have options. So if they wanna use a different print forward after they've washed it, they can. Super cute for a pin cushion with the fabric and the flowers. Can't have bee fabric without playing with a hexagon, right? So I whipped up a few different coasters where you know, I use stripes, I just kinda of did a a funny throw together pattern with um, with scraps. You can do that. You can just do the plain fabric and, and do it. That's super fun. Apparently everything's super today. This is a zipper bag with the Dresden rows. And then I chose to put a lighter fabric on the inside. I find with zipper bags, I can find what's inside them better if I use a lighter fabric inside. But I love how the bees turned out on the on the petals and then on the center. And then I, I debated between white, black and bright yellow zipper, but I love the, the bright yellow against the black and white honeycomb. Then I have never made these before, but I whipped up some beeswax wraps, um, all the rage for anyone trying to reduce their carbon footprint and not use so much saran wrap and things like that. So I'll be sharing how to do that. Some fun things with that. Bees are also great around the house, in the kitchen, in the living room. I just love the colors and the black and white. This is a cute pillow that I made with a modified bear paw quilt block and then just a little bit of border on the edge. So I'll be sharing some different things that you can use this fabric for around the house. So that is a sneak peek at Bee's Life. It will be coming to you in October of 2020. I can't wait to share more with you. I can't wait to see what you do. Find me at tarareed.com and uh, have a beautiful day.
oh my heck, look at how big this pincushion is. Who needs a pincushion this big? But I love it. Oh, just buzzing in to say hi. You be you, I'll be me. Be goofy. <laughs> be done with this video.